Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of WhatsApp clone app, which we are going to develop in the further videos. Okay, so I've already started the app in two different devices so that I can show you how exactly we are going to chat from one user to another user. In these both two devices, I'm going to log in with a different user so that we can send text from this one and being received that text in this device. Okay, so first, here we have this click to sign up. So I'm going to sign up with a new user. So I'm going to click on this and this will open a sign up activity like this one. Here we can put the username. So I'm going to put a username that is Rohit. And I'm going to put some email ID inside this one. So Rohit at the rate gmail.com. I'm going to set some password. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and just click on this. And here we have the sign up button. If I click on this, let's see what will happen. So when I click on this creating account, here you can see this sign up successful. So I'm going to show you how to exactly perform these all operation. And this data is being saved in the Firebase database. So I'm going to show you how to impl implement these stuff with the help of this ID. We cannot register again. Here you can see this. If I click on the sign up again, creating account and here you can see this email address is already used by another account so we cannot sign up with the same email id so now we can log in with this id okay so move back to the login page and here we are okay so we have actually forwarded from directly from that sign up page if this uh, creation is successful then we move directly to the chatting app okay so if i'm going to log in this log out this one and i'm going to log it again here you can see this now we have set this to rohit at the rate gmail.com and the password is one two three four five six and here you can see this if i sign in validation progress and now we move back to chats here i'm going to show you how to fetch all the images and set inside this recycler view with the different names over here here you can see this this is the last message being shown over here if i click on this this will open the BTEC days. So we haven't had any conversation with any of these users. That's why here we can see this one is last message. Okay. So we, this user have not had any conversation in the past. That's why it's showing this one. So now we are going to update and we can perform these operation. But before that, I'm going to log in inside this one with this Google. So I have also implemented this login with Google feature in our app. So I'm going to show you how to exactly perform this one also. So I'm going to click on this and here you can see this. It's showing all the email ID, which is already logged in on our device. That is bdgdays.care at the gmail.com. So when I click on this or select on this, it will sign up with that one. If we already sign up with that one, then it directly log in with us. This is the bdgdays. So I'm going to click on this and this will log in. Here you can see this, we have created our account with the Rohit, but here Rohit is not visible. Inside this one, Rohit is visible over here. And here you can see this, the Rohit has not updated the profile yet, so no user profile is visible over here, you can see this. So I'm going to show you how to design this one, that is chat, status and calls in the different activities, different fragments, these are the different fragments. So I'm going to show you how to perform these operations. And here you can see this, we have actually checked that which user is login, and we don't have to show that user over here. Currently, we have four users in our database, that is a Firebase database, and we are only visible with the three data because one is login. So BTEC days is login over here, so BTEC days is not visible over here. In that case, if you are login and your app is, your name is also visible over here, then you can send text to yourself. So that doesn't make any sense. Here you can see this, the last message is shown because this user that is BTEC days had conversation with the Kumar. So that's why the last message is visible over here. And with the Rohit in the same case, there is no last message because we haven't had the conversation with this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the profile for Rohit because here you can see this, there is no image inside this one. So click on this, click on settings. It will open a setting over here. So in the Rohit, we haven't said anything in the about. So I'm going to set this something over here. So Rohit, Rohit is something software developer. 
and click on save and here you can see this profile updated this data is updated in the firebase database you can also check this okay i'm going to show you how to perform these all operation if i click on back and move back again now this time the software developer is here this data is being fetched from the database and set it over here if i close the application restart it and again when i log in over here we will see this software developer now i'm going to set an image inside this one so click on this and this will open your local directory and here you can see this now i'm going to set this image or this bird so click on this one and here you can see this the bird is set so now move back and click on save and move back over here and let's move back over here you can see this then now the profile for this rohit the pic is updated now i'm going to send a message to this rohit so i'm going to type hey rohit how are you okay before i send a message i'm going to show you how to design these all the stuff that is the back button and all of these stuff over here like this text fields and this button we are trying to develop exactly similar to the whatsapp so I have given the same interface like the WhatsApp. So when I click on this, here you can see this. Hey Rohit, how are you? The message is sent. And here you can see this. This design is the format of this one is exactly same width and height as per the text. If I move back over here, we have sent the text from BDEC days. So if I click on this one and here you can see this. Hey Rohit, how are you? Now I'm going to text back from here. So I'm going to write, I am good. I'm good. How are you? Like this one and click on send. And at the same time, here you can see this, this message is delivered. And we are able to design the different form or different design for this receiver and send messages so that we can uniquely identify on this one. We can also send smileys from here. So click on this one and I'm going to send this one. And here you can see this, this is received over here. Okay. So you can see this, we, are, we can actually update the profile images and we can perform these operations. If I click on back and this time here, you can see the last message is smiley. So it's visible over here. And I'm going to send some other message like, okay, so from the Rohit that we have to send to Rohit from this BDEC day. So I'm going to send some message to, I'm good, like this one. If I send it over here, Move back over here and here you can see this i'm good the last message is visible over here okay so i'm going to show you how to perform these op all operation and i'm going to show you how to save these all data in the firebase database even from the scratch that is the google authentication the sign up and everything i'm going to show you so you need to just subscribe and share with your friends okay and i'm also going to show you how this is working we have one group chat over here if i click on this one the group chat is over here so I have given name this one to friend chat. I'm going to log in over here. Here anyone can log in. Here you can see this. The old messages are visible to this new user, uh, which is connected in the French group. That is a that is a French chat group chat. Okay. So here you can see this. These all are visible over here because we are logging with the different accounts. These are the messages sent by the different users. So that's why it's visible over here. So if I'm going to send hey i am rohit like this and send it you can see this hey i am rohit and this is btec days so i'm going to type hey i am btec days and i'm going to send this one and move back over here here you can see this these are on the left side so now i'm going to log in with the different user that is gora so move back over here and i'm going to log out i'm going to log in with gora so Gaurav at the rate gmail.com and the password is 123456 sign in and validation in progress. I'm going to show you how to set that also. And here you can see this I'm, when I move back to the group chat here you can see there's two messages which this user has received on the left side. It means that what exactly I'm going to show you is that whatever in the group chat the message being sent by the different users will be the, on the left side and whatever message you will send will be on the right side. Here you can see this. Now you can see the difference in the interface. And this time here you can see this BDEC days is also over here and BDEC days is also over here because we have Rohit login. In this one, we are, we are actually logging with the Rohit and in this one, we can't see this cloudy profile over here because we are logging with this Kumar. So here you can see this. If I go to setting, we can also update the name. I'm going to name this one 
Gaurav. And save this. If I save this here, you can see this Gaurav Kumar is updated. So I'm going to show you how to exactly perform these operations, real time synchronization and everything in detail. So that's it for this video, guys. From the next video, I'm going to show you how to start developing with the sign in page, sign up page, the validation, and everything. So just stay tuned, subscribe, and share with your friends. And please hit the like button and comment in the comment section that if you want this as soon as possible, we are going to develop this. Thanks for watching.